So Google recently released Workspace Studio that allows you to create AI agents using nothing but natural language, which helps you automate your entire Google Workspace ecosystem. What I wanted to do was give it a real test of a scenario which all of us would have come across. Let's say that we are in a meeting room and our conversations are getting recorded. Let's look at this video. Hey team, thank you all for being here. Unfortunately, it looks like we have a red status on Project Helios. The launch is supposed to be Thursday, but we have two blockers. If we turn on AI, costs jump $15K. I need approval. I'll handle finance. Sending the email now. Wait, the data privacy terms are outdated. If we launch, we get sued. I need 24 hours to fix it. Elena, stand by. Marcus, send the budget. David, you're at till noon. I'm telling the CEO we are go for Thursday. Okay, the meetings may not be as dramatic as this one, but if it is getting recorded, then this is how the transcript of the meeting recording could look like. So you will see it's just a basic transcript exactly verbatim of how different people are talking. Let's assume that this transcript, when you use Google Meet, this automatically gets created. And every time there is a meeting, then the meeting notes will get in a, stored in a folder like this. Now, if that is a scenario, I'm going to go into my Google Workspace Studio. So this is what Google Workspace Studio looks like if you haven't seen it before. You have the ability to type something in plain English. For example, like every morning, catch me up on yesterday's unread emails in chat. So this will look into your inbox and then consolidate everything and send you a ping on your Google chat or you can set a reminder and stuff like that. You already have a lot of different out of the box automations built out for you. So you can select any one of these and go ahead and remix it. Um, so you can see that for every type of thing, there are multiple different available options out there. Then you can also go ahead and create a custom scenario, right? So this is where you will go ahead and click on this. And this custom scenario is called flow. So you'll have to first think of a starter, which is like a trigger, right? So it could be on a schedule or now you will see that it is connected to all different elements of the Google workspace ecosystems. For example, when you get an email, which is Gmail or Google mail. And then when someone joins a space on your Google chat, when you get a chat message or when you are mentioned in a group chat, or even an emoji is created, right? So, or added. So, that's pretty cool. Then Google Sheets, right? When something changes in your Google Sheet, when an item is added to a folder or a file is edited, or when an item in a folder is edited. Um, and then based on meeting, which is pretty cool as well. So, based on a meeting, you can probably before or after meeting, you can also decide. And then also like when a form comes in. So, this is this also connects to Google Forms, which is a thing in itself where we can discuss a lot of different use cases. For example, like a lead generation app. So please do let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in me running that particular use case. Happy to make a video on that as well. So coming back to our use case, let's assume that this transcript, when you use Google Meet, this automatically gets created. And every time there is a meeting, then the meeting notes will get in a, stored in a folder like this. Now, if that is a scenario, I'm going to go into my Google Workspace Studio and I'm going to create a custom scenario. So this is a little bit of an advanced one. So we're just going to click on a new flow. And what we are going to do here is because the first trigger would be based on whether a file gets added to a folder. So when an item is added to a folder, so we're just going to give this particular folder as the link. And then the next step is once the file gets added, then I'm going to ask Gemini to basically extract a set of information. So here I'm going to ask that, hey, use this file. And then here there are some predefined steps already, right? So you can extract action items. You can also extract sentiment and tone of urgency. And then you can also create like custom content as well. So we will look into that as a next step. But I just want to first show the out of the box capability right here. So what we're going to do is as soon as the transcription gets added, then we are going to extract some very meaningful information. And then once it is extracted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Ask Gemini button where I'm going to ask it to I'm basically going to give it a prompt so that it can generate a very specific email, right? So I'm going to just do that, right? So here is the prompt that I've added. You can see what I'm saying here, act as an exec executive assistant, read the file, and then I'm going to link the file here. This is the cool thing about the concept of variables here. It, it will make all the variables available from all of your previous steps in each one of the steps that you will add. So here I'm going to use this one link to the file here. And then I'm just going to write like the way I would write to Gemini, right? So write a team update. Uh, email about this meeting, make sure that the email is beautifully formatted, insert tables wherever applicable and timeline charts if possible. Gemini 3 Pro should be intelligent enough to understand this. And then we can give the recap and key decisions and etc. Then I'm just saying, okay, add a two sentence professional summary of the outcome. 
and then should have a visual timeline, next steps, today, task, and next date. Also create an action items table in a structured format. And I'm saying that, okay, give owner task due date, list all the action items from the trans transcript here in the table, right? So you can obviously decide and make it even more richer, but this is a step that I'm taking as the third step. So again, what we have done so far is we have added an item. As soon as the meeting happens, like it gets added to a particular folder, then we are extracting a specific piece of information. Then we are asking Gemini to draft the email. And the next step would be where we will actually ask Gemini to go ahead and create the email. Now here, Workspace Studio is not going to be sending the email for you. That is for security reasons. So what it is going to do is you are able to draft the email, right? So this is where you can specify who do you want to send the emails to. If your file had uh, the email addresses as well, which most of the meeting note takers will have. Otherwise, you can also like define the names here. So for instance, here, this is my name. Next step is you can define the subject, right? Recap. And then the message, I'm just going to write content from the previous content created by Gemini, because that is exactly what we had created before, right? So once I'm done, it would draft an email. But I want to go a little bit further where I also want to create a task assign, right? Google Tasks is also part of the workspace ecosystem. So why not assign a task? to myself so that I don't forget about this. And also to make it even more interesting, I'm going to ask it to ping me on Gchat, right? So let's look at those steps as well. So here are the other two steps that I've created already. Here I'm saying that, okay, use the title from the previous one and then context from the meeting and then notify me on the chat. And then you can just write meeting process and urgent action items, right? So once I'm done with all of this, then I can go ahead and do a quick test run, right? So I'm just going to click on start. And you will see that will automatically find that, okay, this particular item has been added to the folder. So now it is doing the extraction piece. So it has extracted the information from those meeting notes, which is a important thing. And there you go, right? This is where it has written an email here, subject, recap, project Helios, key decisions and actions, executive summary, visual timeline, and then action items, very clearly defined, Marcus, David, Surya, and Elena. It has also defined the recap email. So we're just going to go into the draft right here. And there you go. You can see the email was actually in my draft folder. So if I click on this, there you go. This is exactly the email that we saw here. It has created that. And then not only that, it is a task that it has created for me, right? So that I don't forget that as, as well. And then lastly, it has also pinged me on chat. So let me go to my chat. And there you go. So you can see that this is the one which, which, which has just come here and meeting process, urgent action items sent by Workspace Studio. So you can see how cool this is, right? Like you were able to create an end-to-end -end scenario where as soon as meeting notes get added, instead of you figuring out who should the action item belong to and by the, the deadline, et cetera, you're able to just simply send automatic email like this. And this really improves productivity, in my opinion, right? Because I think meeting notes taking and all of those things are fantastic, but Specifically, creating action items and assigning tasks make things more productive. And this is a perfect example of what productive looks like. So you can make it a little bit more insightful by adding a bunch of additional stuff when it comes to extraction of information, right? So in the last one, I had shown you like all of these are the predefined extractions already created by Google. You can have, if, if someone sends you an email or something of that sort, right? Like you can already extract questions that you would want to answer, sentiment, which is which what kind of tone and what kind of urgency. If your email has some sort of mailing address, you can extract that email addresses, phone numbers, web addresses. So these are like really well done and well built in. But what you would also do is you can define like con custom content, right? So like you can say that you can give it a custom name, like my specific task. And here I've written extract the specific action for me, right? Then you can say content name, what should be the topic? Do I have some sort of like a financial risk, right? If you're in a financial related line of business, then this could be pretty interesting. And also like legal risk, right? So here I'm being very specific that, hey, I want you to figure out the specific task for me. I want you to tell me what is the financial risk if I miss that task and what is the legal risk, right? So then I will use those variables as part of this. So for example, here, recap plus the name of the topic, right? What I'm really doing is I'm actually using this in my create task where context on the meeting plus step two, which is my specific task, right? That is what I want to do. And then lastly, this is where I want to be very clear in, in my chat notifications, right? Critical meeting, process, whatever. So 
let's run this and see how this kind of behaves now, right? Now that we have added an extra set of information. So the changes that you would see is definitely in the task as well as definitely in the notify me in chat, right? Because now we're specifically asking it to create additional set of variables which are being used throughout the flow. And that is the idea, right? Here, I think I got the email or ping already. So let's look at the ping now, right? Critical meeting processed, Project Helio. So this is the name, right? Blockers 15,000 a month and second data privacy, right? So this was the financial blocker. So it has automatically figured out what which one in the whole meeting is a financial blocker and the value. And this is the privacy blocker. So let's go back to where we were running this. So here you see that now, you know, this is the task which has been created, right? Marcus must email this. David needs to rewrite. So it is much more clearer now in terms of the task. And the email draft has already been created, right? So if I go to emails and in the draft, so this is the second draft, right? So here, like the recap plus Project Helios status sync. This has come because we had asked it, it to create the topic. So when we were drafting the email, we had given this as a recap plus the name of the topic. So it shows that. And when I click on this, it lists the same email, but I'm now able to clearly use the variables from the previous steps. So you could make it much more intelligent by defining your own set of variables almost in every step, if you will, which makes it even more powerful. So that is what I wanted to show today as part of this demo. Please let me know in the comment section if you found this helpful. I do have some more thoughts and some more use cases in mind, for example, using the forms and automating the flow there. So please do let me know if you guys are interested in that and I can take you through the whole workflow. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and please do subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you once again for your time and I will see you in the next one.